New developments in a drunk driving crash that killed a Lyft driver on State Route 94. Stephen Quintero was charged with six counts for last October's crash. Today, a jury deadlocked. 10 News reporter Matt Boone is joining us. And Matt, jurors couldn't agree on two key charges. Ariel Lindsay jurors could not come up with a unanimous decision on charges of second degree murder and manslaughter. This news came as a shocking revelation to some of those women who were in the courtroom. They were in that lift. They survived, but they say having to go through another trial could force them to relive all of this again. We, the jury in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Stephen Cervantes Quintero, guilty of the crime of driving under the influence. Out of six counts, the jury convicted Stephen Quintero on four, including driving under the influence causing injury, hit and run, and driving on a suspended license. But on the two big charges, that of second degree murder and gross vehicular manslaughter, the jury could not come to unanimous decisions. I'm declaring a mistrial as far as counts one and two. The jury told Judge Kenneth So they were deadlocked, six to six on the murder charge and 10 to two on the manslaughter charge. Outside the courtroom, prosecutor Callie Bright said she was still confident in her original decision to file the murder charge, given this was Quintero's second DUI. That is one of those things that elevates a case from a gross vehicular manslaughter to a murder, as well as the actions that night of leaving the scene of the crime. Uh, I think this is something that within our office we'll take a look at to determine whether or not we think there's anything that could have been done differently or um, a, basically an evaluation of the case to determine whether or not we should try the case again. This all goes back to a crash on September 30th, 2016. Three women were taking a lift from downtown driven by Henry Reyes. They'd pulled over on the 94 when one of the women started feeling ill. That's when they were struck by Quintero, who then drove away from the scene. Reyes, a father of two, and an aspiring dentist later died. The women survived with minor injuries, but live with the scar of this day forever. And as it stands now with the current verdicts, Quintero faces 10 to 11 years in prison. If retried and convicted of that second degree murder charge, though, it could be 15 years to life. A date has been set on May 4th to determine what comes next. Reporting live downtown, Matt Boone, 10 News. All right, Matt, thank you. And 10 News viewers with our free mobile app were first to learn about the mistrial. To get real-time news on your smartphone or tablet, go to the App Store and search 10 News.